Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today, we'll focus on clinical trials and marketing. More after the break. A clinical study is the investigation of the effect of a medical treatment on the progression of a disease in humans within a controlled experimental setting. In a clinical drug trial, which is the most common form of clinical study, clinical and pharmacological effects of medicinal products on humans are investigated or proven and adverse reactions are established. Most studies are implemented by pharmaceutical companies. The most expansive studies take place in the sector of pharmaceutical research, and the enrollment of thousands of patients in hundreds of study sites is no rarity. Studies are a precondition of the approval of a drug, but cosmetic manufacturers also conduct studies to improve merchandising with scientific data, mostly for dermatological products. The implementation of studies takes place in collaboration with investigators, ethics committees, and authorities. The key characteristic of a clinical study is reflected in the sentence, clinical studies are based on the acquisition of knowledge and must be strictly separated from marketing activities. This separation has not always been given. In drug trials, marketing employees, like pharmaceutical representatives, have previously been highly involved in clinical research, especially when it came to marketing approval in order to maximize the profit achievable with the product. Today, the so-called pharmaceutical codex, which many countries have in place, provides a strict separation between marketing and clinical research. Both departments have to be covered by different divisions with separate budgets. Even in studies, which take place after the marketing approval, post-marketing surveillance, the separation is strict. These studies have to be accomplished by the research department without contribution of marketing. After market approval, it looks different. In many countries, drug company advertising is restricted by law. Only in America and New Zealand is it allowed to advertise prescription drugs. In Germany, non-prescription drugs can be publicly advertised, for which the companies use different advertising media. TV spots are especially popular. The notice, in the event of risks and side effects, ask your doctor or pharmacist, is required by law. In Germany, prescription drugs may only be advertised in specialist circles, for example doctors, pharmacists, and other members of the health professions. They should convince the doctors of the effectiveness and the objective benefit of their drugs. In addition, the pharmaceutical companies must state the active ingredients, side effects and warnings in their advertising. That concludes our video today. See you next time. Goodbye.